everybody welcome back to the chaotic little book corner my name is Acacia today I'm going to be doing my October reading wrap up so this is part two of my October reading and I have quite a few books here I definitely did okay I hit my goal of 200 books for the year um, I didn't mark it as 200 books for the year on my Goodreads I only marked it as 52 so I've way surpassed the 52 but my internal goal was about 200 and I think I'm at 211 now so I feel pretty good um I don't think I'm gonna finish another book within the next day or two um I think no I probably will finish another book within the next day or two but I probably will just mention it in my November wrap-up um or I'll do a side note of this at the end so either way but I have these books organized in order of least to most enjoyed. I'm going to dive in with them. I've got a lot going. Let's start. So the first one that I enjoyed the least was Things We Lost in the Fire, stories by Marina Enriquez. Um, this is a short story collection that I read for the Autumn Readathon. Um, I enjoyed it about five stories wise, and I will keep it for that reason. But overall it didn't thrill me and I wasn't too impressed. Um, I definitely enjoyed the writer and if she wrote a novel I would pick it up but it just wasn't for me overall. Um, the stories that I liked I really liked but the stories that I didn't like I really wasn't impressed by. Then we have Sweet Girl by Travis Munkhauser. Um, this is the story of a young girl whose mother is a drug addict and one day in a snowstorm she goes out to try and find her mother who has disappeared and she finds a baby and the story continues from there as the effects of that baby kind of come back to bother her. Um, it was decent. I enjoyed it when I was reading it but when I put it down I had no inclination to pick it back up. Um, I really wasn't thrilled by the the premise. It didn't really give me a lot of insight into the characters. I really felt a little bit held at a distance from it and I would technically not recommend this as a good book. Um, it was fine. I just it was fine is really what it comes down to and that's not good enough for me. Then we have Hex, another book that I read for the readathon. This is by Thomas Old Hewlett. Um, this is the story of a witch who has had her mouth and eyes sewn shut and she is hexing a town and people are not allowed to leave because of this witch. It was creepy, it was scary, it had me bothered, but when I closed the book I was able to walk around, take a shower, go downstairs by myself with all the lights off. Like it was fine. Um, I wasn't scared scared. I wasn't really that bothered, which doesn't really bode well for me as a real horror novel. Um, I like to have a little more edge stuck to me um, where I feel uncomfortable um, and I feel a little more uncertain of my environment but it was fine. Um, I'll keep it maybe. I might not honestly. It, with the amount of books I have on my thriller shelf I might not keep it. Then we have Lore Wicked Mortals. This is by Erin Mankey. Um, I am really hoping to either get Darkest Places from the publisher or pick it up myself this month. I would like to read it for nonfiction November, but I haven't solidified that it's going to happen. So we shall see. Um, this is the stories of mortals that did terrible things and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun, interesting, and dark and it definitely spooked me out. I enjoyed every minute of it. I really like the lore stories. Um, I love the lore podcast and I'm always happy to dive into that world. These books are going to fall and I know it. So just bear with me if you hear a crash. This is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. I buddy read this with Amanda Center, whose channel I will link up in the cards. Um, I liked this book. I definitely enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Liked it better than I thought I was going to when I first started it. But I still wouldn't say that it's a favorite classic. It is not something that I really adore. It is not something that I feel very strongly about. I just, I liked it. It was good. I enjoyed it. And I will reread it again someday. But it's not something I'm going to rush to every year or even next year. 
So I liked it. The story follows Margaret who meets a man, um, Mr. Thornton, and their relationship goes through ups and downs and they have interest in each other in different ways and things happen and it's got a lot to do with industry and revolution and um, the challenge of workers versus the um, a higher um, higher money ranking people. It was it was interesting. Like I enjoyed it. I just didn't love it. Then we have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I read this pretty quickly. Um, was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I enjoy Miss Havisham quite a bit. She is an interesting character to say the least. I really like the story. Um, I liked following Pip and I liked the ideas of um, <sighs> class and difference um, and rules and regulations in society. Um, I definitely would recommend this book. I had a lot of fun reading it. I read it when I was in high school and I didn't love it and this time around I really enjoyed it. So I think I had to grow quite a bit to find myself happy with this but I enjoyed it. Then we have The Corset by Laura Purcell. This is the same author as The Silent Companions. I really like The Silent Companions and I read it last year for the Autumn Readathon. This year I read The Corset for the Autumn Readathon. Um, I like this a lot. This is the story of Dorothea and Ruth and Ruth is a murderess and Dorothea is a woman visiting her in prison. Um, it was dark. It was really, really atmospheric. It was really, really enjoyable. I really liked the plot. Um, it had a little bit of an affinity feel to it by Sarah Waters and I liked that. Um, I like infinity so I was really happy with the ideas um, and it it definitely made me enjoy it quite a bit and I will reread this for sure. I really liked it. Then for the first time I read some Patricia Highsmith. This is Edith's Diary. This was a psychological thriller about a woman who her life starts to crash down around her and she starts to write in her diary things that are not true but she believes them and starts to live her life according to what she is writing in her diary and things get out of control. I really liked it. I thought it was spooky and creepy and eerie and I had a lot of fun reading it. Um, I definitely would recommend it and I'm going to read more Patricia Highsmith as soon as I have the capacity to do so. Ooh, my arm hurts from carrying all those books in the thumbnail. It's fine. Just a lot of books. Okay. Then I did a reread. This is The Book Collector by Alice Thompson. This time I gave it five stars. I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. This is the story of Violet who falls in love with a man who marries her and he has a secret stash of fairy tales that she tries to get her hands on but he gets angry and sends her away to an asylum where women are starting to disappear and the story progresses from there. It is creepy, eerie, wonderful and I super enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, this is the fourth time I've read it and I really loved it. Then we have Mammoth by Sarah Perry. I've heard some people didn't like this. I really enjoyed it. I like Sarah Perry as a writer um, and I felt really unner unnerved by Mammoth. I liked the narrator of this. It felt a little... <sighs> What's the book? Crimson Petal in the White and I enjoyed that. I felt really connected and really creeped out and really un unnerved and I really enjoyed that. So I would definitely recommend this. This is the story of a woman who is given a bunch of papers by a man who is telling her that Melmoth is coming. Um, Melmoth is this woman that wanders the world um, alone and asking those who have guilt to come join her in the world of loneliness. Um, it was creepy and eerie and a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed it, read it within one sitting. It was definitely worth it. Then there was this one that I just gobbled up. This was also for the Autumn Readathon. This was for um, a young female protagonist, um, a young female protagonist story. That was the, the what's the word I'm looking for? Prompt. Um, 
and I adore this. This is one of my favorite books of the year. I definitely would recommend it. I bought it from Waterstones in the UK and I would definitely say it is worth picking up from the UK before it is released in the US because right now there is no look of it being released in the US and I think it is totally worth the time. Um, this is Dead Girls by Abigail Tarkalan. Um, I... I'm obsessed with this book. I love it. It's the story of a young girl whose best friend Billy is murdered by someone and she wants revenge and so she seeks it out. It is brilliant, wonderful. I read through it pretty quick and then I reread it um, twice in a month. It was excellent. I definitely recommend it. I had so much fun reading it and I am so excited to dive into this again someday. It will be quite the treat. And then another reread that I did was My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Atesha Mosvik. I love this. This is my favorite book of the year. I was definitely happy to reread it again so quickly. I had a lot of fun with it. It is a story of a woman who is taking medication to make herself sleep for a year so that she can kind of drop off the radar um, and her life and how it spirals out of control and what medication can do with side effects and treatment and how that looks and mental health and how that looks and the experience of feeling lost and lonely and unwanted. It's just really interesting and really well done. I definitely recommend this. This is my favorite book of the year so far and I don't think it's going to be replaced. I definitely would recommend it. So that is my October reading wrap up part two that talked about the autumn readathon reads that I have. I also did a autumn readathon vlog which has the um, end thoughts of those books again. Um, I will post that next week but I definitely enjoyed it and I've got some thoughts. Um, so I will see you all in my next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, comments, or quandaries, go ahead and leave them in the comment box. I'll see you soon and I'll talk to you then.